in high school and college, I thought I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I had it all planned out. In fact, I actually had a six page Google Docs of exactly what my life was going to look like for the next 10 years. What school I was gonna go to, what I was gonna study, where I was gonna go to grad school, what kind of job I was gonna have. It was all lined up perfectly. I was so obsessed with what other people thought about me that when I got into college, um, my freshman year, I actually really fell into the party and the hookup scene, mainly because of social media. The sorority girls, like they had thousands of followers, they had hundreds of likes on all their pictures, and they looked like their life was just so fun. And they looked so loved and so desired. And I thought in order to be loved and desired, I had, to, I had to look like them, I had to act like them, I had to control other people's perceptions of me. And I really got into this pretty deep hole my freshman year of college. And I think God knew that he needed to do something drastic to wake me up. I mean, I was really stubborn, I was really blind, um, and he just needed to get my attention in a big way. After my freshman year of college, I was actually diagnosed with an autoimmune disease called ulcerative colitis, and I got really, really sick and ended up pretty much in and out of the hospital for the next year. From the end of my freshman year of college to my sickest point in the hospital, I had lost 40 pounds. My life was just completely out of my hands at that point. There was a lot of isolation and despair, uh, especially because I didn't have my friends around me anymore. I didn't have that constant validation from them. I didn't have anything fun to post on social media. I wasn't moving forward in my career, and it was just a really, a really lonely time. I ended up missing the next year and a half of my college career. All of a sudden, my whole perfect plan, that, that six-page Google Docs was just completely thrown off track, and I had absolutely no control of my own life and much less other people's perceptions of me anymore. Needless to say, I, uh, I had a lot of time on my hands and I actually discovered the Culture Project on social media, which, funny enough, is the same place that absolutely wrecked my confidence just a year and a half prior. And now all of a sudden I was, I was coming across these, these missionaries that showed this really authentic love. They were just really, really vibrant and they actually looked, looked happy. They, they had that, that happiness and that joy that I had been chasing for so long. They were just huge role models to me, even though I hadn't met a single one in person. <laughs> but somehow they still really influenced my life in, in such a huge way that I decided I was going to stop chasing my perfect plan of, of how I thought I wanted my life to go and just radically abandon everything to God and ask what He wanted me to do. And so I applied for the Culture Project. And I'm actually here, which blows my mind, but I'm just the happiest I've ever been.